Now let us hear more about Heiko's eco-conscious offerings from James Ledge. Please tell us about all the different products that Heiko offers. Well, it's quite an array. Um, some of them aren't listed on our website because they're still under development. But uh, we have our wind turbines for commercial and for wind farms. We have our wave power technology. Uh, we have our solar designs, we have our power gym as well, where we use the human body to generate electricity. But it's not just electricity that we produce, because we have lots of byproducts as well. I mean, we do desalination, we do hydrogen gas production using our technology. Can you please share with us who your customers are? Uh, in terms of the wind farms, what we're doing in South Africa, our main customer will be ESCOM. Uh, as is legislated in South African law, uh, we'll be building the wind farms and selling straight into national grid. Heiko Energy says the wind technology it supplies consumers and businesses has the advantage of having a long operating life and is able to be used in a wide range of environments receiving different levels of wind speed. Mr. Lech explains. What is the lifespan of a wind farm? How long can it last and how many years can it work? A conventional wind farm will last maximum 25 years. And in, in a year, or 365 days, on average they operate about 90 days of the year. And that's why many people haven't gotten them off the ground very well and they say they need so many of them, it's been very difficult. Where what we've done with our technology, we've made it much simpler, much easier, uh, not making the most efficient, but the best at generating power. And as a result, um, our wind farms turn from a low wind speed of 3.6 kilometers an hour. All right, conventional wind farm, you're looking more about 18 kilometers an hour to start generating power. If you look on your weather maps, very few places will actually will have a maximum of 18, uh, even by the, by the coastline. And then to reach that megawatts, we only require a wind speed of 10 meters per second. Your conventional wind farm requires uh, about 15 meters per second like kind of wind speeds. And as a result, you can understand why on their technology, it's only 90 days a year. Where us, you're looking about 92% of the time, so about 320, 340 days of the year, we're generating power the whole time. Heiko Energy's wind technology is suitable for use by commercial wind farms or by individuals to power their homes. Mr. Ledge introduces one of their efficient and durable turbines. Explain to us in layman's terms this wind turbine. How does it? All right. Um, you have your wind turbine blade. We have different designs for different purposes. So you have the small 25 centimeter blades we have, or interconnected. This one we designed more for household DIY solutions because many people would say, "Look, I want to go green, but I don't have the money to pay for installation and have a crew come out, and it's very complicated." So this packs in a small, tiny little box that's shipped direct to your post office and um, the turbine is connected to your pole, is connected to generators and connected to your battery, which generates power for your household appliances and so forth. Uh, it's really, really simple. I mean, to assemble this takes less than 15 minutes. And you put it on a normal galvanized steel pole, one that's about 40, 50 meters diameter, so it's about this thick. And it can be 15 meters high. You have an array of these connected. And Bob's your uncle. In light breeze, you've got power being generated. Then, in terms of... Uh, the wind farms, we put uh, blade tip extensions, so we get a much larger diameter, we get more speed, generate more power. Obviously, there's more noise, but this one is ultra quiet, and also, it's virtually indestructible. I mean, we've had this thing on the top of a moving vehicle at 180 kilometers an hour. We've driven over it, had little puppies chew it, and we even had African elephants stomping all over them, and still no damages, no breakages, nothing. Heiko Energy sees the need and opportunity for utilizing the world's abundant sustainable energy resources and they have been bringing their innovative and affordable power solutions to homes and businesses throughout South Africa since 2007. Let's rejoin our talk with company president and founder James Letch as he explains the advantages of clean power. And other than reducing your carbon footprint, what other benefits are there in green energy? 
Well, it's, it's understand about air pollution, what happens. If you have more air pollution, uh, how it comes down to you as a person is um, you have more acidic rain, uh, which is going to damage your house more. So you have to repaint your walls, uh, replace your glass, more rust, uh, your Gardens are dying, your vegetation is dying, your crops become more expensive, those kind of things. Um, if we look then at um, the air quality, you have a thing called nitrous oxide, which is affecting your child's breathing, lungs. So more and more kids nowadays, uh, in some cases, 5 out of 10 kids had asthma, where back in the day, maybe 1 out of 10 had them. That's purely from the burning of fossil fuels. And this affects uh, you as a parent. You know, the stress you're worrying about, the medical bills, the expenses, um, everything's interrelated. We asked Mr. Ledge if there is a particular type of sustainable energy he feels is better than others. Many people debate this, saying, oh, there's one technology that's the best for everyone, and there's one and advocate solar's the best, or wind's the best, or wave, wind, and so forth and so forth. And in truth, there is no one technology that beats all others. Uh, there isn't one miracle technology out there that will save the world and everything. It's a harmony of different technologies working together. And it's all based on geographic location. You have to have the right technology for the right location. Uh, for example, you can't have a solar panel in the Arctic during winter because there's no sunlight. Uh, same as you can't have a wind turbine in uh, the middle of a city ground floor where there's no wind. And it just it won't work. But if you put them in the optimum conditions, they'll work fantastically. High core energy as a vegetarian only policy, meaning employees may not consume meat on the company's premises. Mr. Lech, a vegetarian himself, explains how one's diet can bring constructive changes to our world. Why should people consider being vegetarian? It's respect for animals, for lives, and it's respect for yourself. Um, if you respect for yourself, you respect others and love others. At the same time, it comes from a green side. Um, there's a UN report released that everyone knows about where they showed facts and figures about how uh, livestock farming in the world creates more negative greenhouse gas pollution and global warming than all transport in the world. And the same with farming. I mean, you have a large uh, cow that uses a hectare of land. You know, for, and on that same hectare of land, you can grow 20,000 potatoes, which is a great deal of potatoes. Uh, if you go in terms of water, it uses you know, thousands of liters of water. Um, so it's if you look at numbers, facts, ethics, there's a lot of information that's warranting why we should do it. Yeah. And then comes the health benefits as well. Many people are unaware of the link between global warming and animal agriculture. Can you please share your views on this? Certainly. Global warming comes from normal uh, emissions of cars, um, coal power plants or gas. And that. You have a thing that's mainly output is, is CO2. Now, as we know, trees absorb CO2, but they can only absorb so much. And the same as CO2, it takes a lot of CO2 to heat up a room, you know, increase the temperature. Now, what animals do, or cattle on the other hand, you know, cows belch, they pass gas and they produce manure, it releases a gas called methane. Now, methane is a lot more heavily uh, able to absorb heat than, than CO2. Let's say to heat up a room, we needed one kilogram of carbon dioxide. We would need um, about 200 grams of methane to do the same. We laud Heiko Energy for its promotion of the vegetarian diet and for bringing affordable, sustainable energy to South Africa. The company's noble ideals and practical solutions are an inspiration for other companies to follow in our golden age. For more about Heiko Energy, please visit www.heikoenergy.com. For more about Motorwave Group, please visit www.motorwavegroup.com. Thank you intelligent viewers for joining us today on Golden Age Technology. Coming up next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living. After noteworthy news, may heaven's light shine upon our world as we move towards a more loving and sustainable future. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T